Hello. Well, uh, today I want to talk uh, about a movie that I just saw. Um, it is August by the at the time I'm recording this, though of course it'll be September um, by the time uh, this is uploaded. But uh, I just saw uh, Stillwater today, and um, it, I think it's a good movie. Um, The plot, you know, about a uh, American girl goes to France, and a uh, girlfriend is killed, and she's uh, sent to prison for killing her, and um, dad uh, has to uh, do what he can to show that she's innocent, and... Um, Stars Matt Damon as a uh, Bill Baker um, and his daughter uh, Allison's uh, played by uh, Abigail Breslin and um, it's just a fantastic movie. Um, I know there are people who you know, compare this movie to an actual real life uh, 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 story of um, <clears throat> a man in Knox who, um, you know, the, the, that story sort of inspired this movie. Um, she, uh, she was in Italy, was accused of. Uh, uh, killing uh, like a fellow student friend and uh, eventually she it was found that uh, she didn't do it and she got released um, but this film is from the perspective of the father trying to get uh, his daughter out of prison where you know if they were gonna try and essentially do that story uh, Mary Amanda Cock uh, Knox's story. <clears throat> um, uh, you know, I don't know the, all the details with that, um, and everybody trying to, no doubt her family tried to do what they could to help get her back, but, you know, um, here it's in uh, France, uh, Marseille. Uh, the film is, uh, that's where it takes place. So, different countries. And really, that's... The similarities really begin from real life to, um... Fiction. Uh... Girl goes to, uh... A foreign country. Uh... You know, for like, school. Is accused of murder. Sent to prison for some years, and then... Even, yeah, and then, you know, what unfolds, uh, unfolds, though, um, I don't want to get into spoilers for the very end, but, um, you know, there are, uh, but the film is, uh, you know, uh, the film, uh, is from Matt Damon's character's perspective, and, um, he gives it a fantastic performance, um, the other uh, uh, people in this is uh, um, Camille Cotton, and uh, plays uh, Virginia, um, who's a French woman who's helping Bill do what he can because certain legal things that have gone on uh, throughout the, the course of the. Uh, of this, that she's been in prison, you know, there's various things like, you know, what may seem to be able to help get her out uh, of prison is basically hearsay, and, you know, that's not enough. There's, like, you need actual evidence, and if evidence ha uh, is uh, there, 
then you can go and, you know, uh, do something. You can finally actually uh, get going on essentially proving that she's innocent. Um, Virginia also has a, a daughter, Maya, played by Lilu Severin. I just butchered that name horribly. Um, uh, as do many people who are not French uh, speakers, yeah, particularly native French speakers. So, apologies if you're in France and you see this and. Uh, you just heard that terrible pronunciation of that name. Um, but it's a very good movie. Um, uh, the film is by uh, Tom McCarthy. Yeah, I wanted to just double check. That way I don't uh, call him something wrong. Uh, he directed Spotlight, which is a fine movie. Um, this film is... Uh, Again, it's just very good. Um, don't want to get into all the stuff for the end. Um, and even though I, the, this film and the Amanda Knox uh, story has similarities, um, the perspective of this uh, film uh, has is quite different. It's mainly from the father's perspective and how he's basically a guy who wasn't around much for his daughter when she grew up, and so uh, he's trying to make things right, and uh, it's just a very uh, it's a very good film. Uh, one thing I think uh, that could possibly turn some people away from this movie um, is the length. It's a uh, 140 minutes, um, and it is a bit of a slow burn. Uh, I don't mind that. I think it's fine. But I think it is uh, good to uh, say that uh, for those who haven't seen it. Um, obviously, it came out the end of <clears throat> July and or August, so I guess perhaps spoilers wouldn't uh, be a huge thing here, but, you know, I... After seeing the movie and talking about it here, I kind of think it, it's good to at least, like once it's a, a film is on a Blu-ray and, and streaming and stuff like that, then I have no problem, you know, uh, talking spoilers. Uh, but uh, this film is, uh, as of this recording, still uh, quite new, and so I don't want to just... Uh, spoil everything. Uh, and so, uh, this is a movie that, uh, this is just a movie that I think is excellent. Um, I don't know, I'm pausing and trying to do it again because, you know, in a lot of ways there is a lot to talk about it, but. Uh, again, until everybody is able to uh, see this in some way, I don't really want to just discuss it so much because there's some stuff in the film that, you know, as it, it's going and uh, things are talked about and revealed and by the end uh, a lot of complicated stuff happens. I, I just, I'll just say that. Uh, a lot of complicated stuff and so, with st with something like that, it's not like Tenet, for instance, where um, one could talk for so long about that movie, and yet you don't want to spoil it. It's not complicated like that. It's compli or at least complex, I guess I should say. You know, things happen that you know, you know, maybe things are said here or there, and. By then, it's like when he remembers, like, oh, that kind of ties in with this or that. Um, obviously, there is something big <laughs> in the midst of the film that there's a revelation at the end that 
you know, is quite something. And I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to totally spoil a film, but, uh, you know, any more. But uh, the performances are excellent in this film, uh, especially Matt Damon's. Um, I think, you know, obviously I've, you know, I have critiqued the Academy Awards, I'm sure, if you've followed my uh, channel for quite some time, and um, so, you know, I'm not a huge fan of them, you know, they seem to, in my mind, they don't seem to really get it right a whole lot, and that's just not, that's not just me, that's a lot of people. But not just of who and what wins, but just who and what is nominated. You know, sometimes they don't get it right. Um, <clears throat> but I think with this movie, I think uh, Matt Damon uh, should be in consideration already for like the Best Actor Academy Award nomination. Like that's how good it is. Like you know. Be great to see him nominated um, and win, depending on the competition. You know, I know that the film, the year is not uh, done yet, obviously, but still, you know, you you uh, sometimes you see movies that just sort of stick with you for one reason or another. And um, if this movie sticks with me for any particular reason, it's going to be because of Matt Damon's performance. Um, I think the movie is really excellent on its own anyway, but, you know, Matt Damon and the performance he gives is, it's just fantastic, it's just great, um, I think that he, uh, gives one of his best performances, and he's always given his best, uh, in really everything, you know, not that everything he has done is perfect and incredible, but, you know, he, he's somebody who does his best. Um, and he, you know, truly did his, gave his all in this, and he, he should be considered for one of the best actors of the year. Um, that's, of course, you know, considering, you know, uh, if this film is, uh, is uh, in contention for things of that nature, um, uh, I hope it uh, will be. Um, it's gotten praise by many people, you know. Um, uh, performances, um, in particular, are um, what is uh, being praised here, and uh, I understand. You know, I think a lot of that does go to the performances. Um, the material is quite good. Um, again, it's a bit of a slow burn in the beginning. Um, but I feel the way the film goes and how everything ends up, it's, I think it's appropriate. Um, but that could be me, you know. I, I did watch some other people talk about this movie after I saw it, because I'm curious what, what others thought, and... There seem to be people who have that sort of uh, uh, sentiment, like the slow burn is good, while others did think that the film could have benefited from like a 15 to 20 minutes cut out. And I can see uh, where they're coming from. Um, I think the film is fine regardless, but you know, it's a it's a uh, it's an excellent movie. Uh, it's a film that. Uh, I think if you see, uh, you might enjoy. Um, if anything, see it for the performances for Matt Damon, uh, Abigail uh, Breslin, Neil Cotton, and just, you know, you know the whole cast that like, gives, gives their all um, and elevates the material to where it's just fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, it's really all I have. Uh, 
to say on the film. Um, it's an excellent movie. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, uh, hope to see it again. And um, yeah, I will. Uh, I'm happy to be able to talk about something else that wasn't horror related. You know, um, obviously for a while there was, uh, you know, just all similar along, just Friday the 13th film, so it's kind of nice to be able to finally get out of that. Um, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was great. But it's also nice to know uh, be able to talk about some other stuff I've seen throughout the summer, and um, I'll probably even talk about some uh, stuff that I actually got um, for... Uh, on Blu-ray uh, throughout the summer. Um, some Criterion, some not. But yeah, uh, that'll be later. I may also, because I'm filming stuff in advance, I might actually even double up uh, on Fridays. You know, I might uh, have like a one video after midnight on uh, my time here, and maybe in the afternoon, <clears throat> spread it out hours apart so that, you know, uh, YouTube will hopefully notify those who uh, are subscribed to my channel and will be able to uh, uh, if I have the bell, they'll be notified. Um, and just be able to see it in general. Just in there subscription feed um you know so if I do decide to do that then you know maybe in a few hours you'll see uh, uh something else be it uh, a video where I talk about the various films I got throughout the summer or a completely uh, me talking about something else entirely um uh yeah uh, I enjoyed this film, um, and I enjoy talking about it. It's a, it's, it's really a very good film. It's very, uh, I think it's very engaging once, uh, once things really get going. Um, I guess that's the last thing I really want to say about Stillwater. Um, really good film, excellent performances. Um, I enjoyed it, and uh, with that. Uh, hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week, and I'll see you all next time.